Hello users, so in this video we will create a fresh Laravel application and we will set up the authentication. Um, so let's get started. So we are using uh, Laravel version 7 uh, for creating the projects and you can find the command to create a fresh Laravel project on the Laravel 7 docs laravel.com. So just need to create This is the command, so let's change the name to chat app. So it will create a fresh Laravel installation. So as you can see, uh, our new Laravel setup has downloaded. So let's cd into chat app and open open the folder in any of the ID like I am using visual I am using sublime Plex 3 it's my favorite one so after installation we need to start the server and this is the command to start the server php artisan serve and it will serve our laravel app on the 8000 so as you can see our Laravel project is running now we need to set up the authentication and to set up the authentication we need to use Laravel UI we will go in security Uh, we will use laravel default authentication and to use that uh, we need to install some more packages uh, like laravel ui so let's install let's stop the server and install the laravel ui it will take a uh, few seconds to download So the package has been installed and now we need to install, we need to run this command to generate the authentications. Now for that we need to run two commands and then install. Like these commands are used to compile all of the assets like our CSS and JS. After that we need to run npm run dev uh, basically set the dependencies and it will finalize all the things with that back. Now let's start the server. So the application will run, and as you can see, now we have got the login and register routes. 
and we can register new users and log in that user but before that uh, we need to create a database to store all the users and their chats so we'll create a new database with the name chat app and let's change the credentials Your name is root password is blank save and now now we need to run the migrations to create all the tables so laravel uh, default has some migrations and we need to create some uh, a, some more migrations for the new tables database migrations and this is for user migration and we need to add one extra field and just it will track if the user is online or not default set to zero after that uh, we need to create uh, one more migration so let's create the migration for sets table Petition make migration for chats so the migration has been created and let's copy these things and paste name of the table will be the chats table and when this will have um, link integer with the column using id and the column is for other user id we don't need any we need to let's actually we will not use the migrations for chat table let's delete it for now Run the migrations. So we get an error. What is saying? the error of the method I think there is a problem in this tenant and let's check the migrations so we need to use the tenant either instead of tenant So all our migrations are created. Let's check the database. So as you can see, we have the all the tables, the migrations. Now let's create a new user. I'm going to create a user with name. Let's say 
email will be share at rate Com. Actually, we need to start the server. This will be name Jay Sharma. Email address mailmeter.com. Password will be one two nine. So as you can see, we are now logged in. So that's all um, for the video. So uh, in the next video, we'll create the uh, we'll create the table for our chats for our saving chats, and we'll integrate our uh, theme for the chat. And Please don't forget to subscribe and share and like the video. Thank you.